Hello, and welcome to the first video in our Creation Kit tutorial series. My name is Fourleaf, and today we're going to be starting the modding journey. If you've ever wondered how mods are built, or when that perfect mod would come along and fix that one thing about the game you never liked, then this series is for you. Because by the end, and after a bit of practice, you'll be able to make those changes yourself. This series will show you how to make your own quest mods with new characters and dialogue, build a town, create new spells and items, modify actor behaviors, write your own scripts, and more. So if you're feeling creative, and if you've always wanted to create mods, then let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover creation kit download and installation. The first thing you have to do is find the download. Navigate to your Steam store and search for Skyrim Creation Kit. The Creation Kit is free as long as you own a copy of the game. Now when you're downloading the kit, you have to make sure that it is installed onto the same drive as your Skyrim installation. So this is normally the C drive. Once the kit is downloaded, you can go ahead and launch it from your game's library. The first thing you'll notice when you open the software is that there are three windows on your screen. The object window, the render window, and the cell window. For now, all you have to do is arrange these windows the way you see it on the screen. The object window holds all of the game's assets. The render window allows you to view the assets as they appear in the game. And the cell window holds all of the game's cells. Okay, now that you've got your bearings, we'll talk about how to load the game's master files into the creation kit. The kit is only an editor, so you'll first need to select which game files you plan to edit. Head over to the file icon and select skyrim.esm and press OK. This process can take some time, and as it's loading, you'll see a series of warnings come up. These are normal. All you have to do is click yes to all for each one. Once the files have finished loading, the creation kit is ready to begin modding. As tempting as it is to make your first OP power sort to one-shot everything in sight, there are a couple more things to go over before we start. I'll first show you how to save and load your mod safely. Click on the save icon along the toolbar and add test mod as the file name, then click save. Once you've done that, you're now going to close your kit and reopen it again. This time, when you select the file folder icon, you're going to choose testmod.esp as the file to load and make sure you set it to set as active file. This tells the creation kit that you want to make changes to your mod and not the game files themselves. Your mod acts like a set of instructions which take priority over the instructions of the base game. If your mod was to suddenly disappear, then the original instructions of the game would resume. This makes it possible for you to have many mods running in your game at the same time. So. The last thing we're going to do in this introduction is prepare the creation kit to load more than one master file at the same time. Up until this point, we have loaded a single master file, the skyrim.esm file, into the kit. But if you wanted to create a mod using the assets from the base game as well as Skyrim's DLC, then you'll need to give the kit permission to load multiple masters. This is done by navigating to the Skyrim folder in your data directory, start with C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and Skyrim. In the Skyrim folder, look for the creationkit.ini file. Open it up, and under the general heading at the top, you're going to add the line B allow multiple master loads equals one, and then save the file. And that's it. 
you made it to the end of the video and learned some very basic but important bits of the creation kit. Now before you begin your modding extravaganza, you'll need to consider acquiring some modding tools to help make the process much easier. And that will be the topic of my next video.